Welcome to our second video on pain physiology, neurons, their structure, and gait control theory. In this video, we will aim to cover the structure of first order sensory neurons, the differences between different types of nociceptive fibers, the key roles of those different nociceptive fibers, understanding neuropathic pain, and aiming to understand gait control theory. To begin with, I will cover the general points that sum up all nociceptive peripheral fibres. First order sensory neurons involved in nociception are A delta and C fibres. They are both pseudo unipolar in structure and their cell bodies lie within the dorsal root ganglia, seen here. They synapse with second order neurons in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord, as seen here. To begin with, I will cover A delta fibers. A delta fibers are thin, 2 to 5 micrometers in diameter, and myelinated. This allows fast saltatory conduction. Glutamate is their main neurotransmitter to second order neurons. A delta fibers are primarily associated with sharp pricking pain, also known as fast or primary pain. They're involved in the transmission of this acute pain sensation, sharp, intermediate and relatively short lasting, from thermal, mechanical and chemical stimuli. A beta fibers are similar, but transmit mechanical sensation, for example, touch and vibration, not pain sensation. This is important later for understanding gait control theory. Both touch, A beta fibers, and pain fibers, such as A delta fibers, carry sensory information to the dorsal horn. Non nociceptive fibers, like A beta fibers, can interfere with nociceptive sensation and reduce pain sensation. This is called gait control theory, which I will discuss in greater depth in the future. Malformation of touch neurons within the dorsal horn may lead to non-nociceptive fibres accidentally stimulating a nociceptive second-order neuron, causing an inappropriate pain sensation from a non-noxious stimulus. This is known as allodynia or allodynia. In contrast to the A fibres, C fibres are thick, about 1.5 micrometres in diameter, and are unmyelinated thus conduct their impulses more slowly than A-fibers. They are associated with an aching, burning pain sensation, which is known as slow or secondary pain. They also synapse in the dorsal horn to second-order neurons. The main neurotransmitter of C-fibers is substance P, which stimulates sensitization in second-order neurons. This central sensitization will be covered in more depth later on in the series of videos. They do also release some glutamate. What is the main neurotransmitter released by A delta fibers in the dorsal horn? Briefly, I will cover neuropathic pain. Neuropathic pain is caused by injury to peripheral nerves, which can cause a spontaneous pain signaling in the absence of any noxious stimulus. It's described as a constant stabbing, shock-like pain. As you see here, a break in this neuron has caused an action potential to occur and be sent to the central nervous system. There are a variety of causes of neuropathic pain. Disease of the neuron, such as shingles or multiple sclerosis, could be to blame, or direct damage to the nerve, such as compression or cutting, for example in sciatica, may also cause neuropathic pain to occur. Following transmission from the periphery, I will now cover the central transmission processes in pain sensation. The first order nociceptive fibres travel to the substantia gelatinosa of the dorsal horn. Here they synapse with second order nociceptive neurons in the nociceptive lamellae 1 and 2. 
For A-delta fibres, glutamate is the fast excitatory neurotransmitter of the primary afferent neurons. This glutamate binds to receptors on the postsynaptic membrane of the secondary afferent neuron, stimulating depolarization and ascension of the sensation of pain. For C-fibres, the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate, which is fast-acting, and substance P, which is slower acting, are also released here, causing the central transmission. This region in the dorsal horn is important for gait control theory. Gait control theory is a model of ascending pain suppression and is the basis of why rubbing, scratching, and transcutaneous electrical nervous stimulation works in suppressing pain sensation. A beta fibers can inhibit ascending pain transmission through their actions on local circuits in the dorsal horn. They inhibit this ascending pain transmission by synapsing to short inhibitory interneurons within the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. Stimulation of the A beta fiber, for example through touch, stimulates this short interneuron to release inhibitory GABA into lamella 2. This GABA is inhibitory, so reduces the number of action potentials by the second-order neuron, reducing central pain transmission. Therefore, increased mechanical stimulation, as sensed by A-beta fibers, increases the activity of this short inhibitory interneuron. Therefore, mechanical stimulation can suppress central pain transmission. This is the gate control theory. So to recap, after watching this video, you should be able to know the structure of first order sensory neurons, understand the differences between nociceptive fibers, know the key roles of the different nociceptive fibers, understand neuropathic pain, and understand the gate control theory. Thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.